Hey everybody, it's Chris, and I'm back to do a really big feather string pull with you today. So today I'm working on a 15 by 40 canvas. This is part of my gallery wall that I'm working on for my office. And this is kind of one of the paintings that I was really excited to do. So um, kind of saving one of the best ones for last, I think. I've already flooded the canvas with my white paint and I'm gonna kind of spin the camera over so you can see what I'm doing to lay my paint down for the actual string pull itself. Okay, so I kind of spun you around just a little bit, so hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing over here. I put some plastic from the canvas itself down on my tablecloth, and I'm pouring on a plastic tablecloth that I bought at the Dollar Tree. The cool thing about these tablecloths is you can use them over and over again, and you can actually peel the paint off, if I didn't have my gloves on right now, there we go. You can actually peel the paint off of the tablecloth once it's dried. I also use this one for resin, and the same thing is true with the resin. You can actually peel the resin right off of the surface and kind of clean it up a bit to get it ready for the next project that you're working on. So over here, I've got a piece of plastic laid down. And as I said, this was from my one of my canvases, this canvas actually. And then I have another piece of plastic up here that I've got some white paint on, but that's okay. And I'll show you what my thought is on that. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture real quick to show you how I figured out how long to cut my rope. Here's my rope and here's the picture on how I did that. So the colors we're using today are Prussian Blue, Warm Gray, Prism Violet, Metallic Cobalt, and Champagne Gold. So my thought with having the plastic over here is to lay out my paint in stripes. And I'll lay my um, string down through the stripes of paint to apply the paint to the string. And the string that I'm using today is a clothesline that we picked up at, I think we bought it at Walmart. and. Um, it's a cotton clothesline. My thought is that you really want the cotton so that it kind of absorbs the paint. Otherwise, if you have something that's like nylon, I'm pretty sure it would probably resist it. And you definitely want it to be able to soak it up. So I'm going to start with the Prussian blue down here. And I kind of want to make a fairly good sized line of paint. And I want it to be wide enough so that I can go through it several times. So I would say I'm probably putting down about a two inch by five inch um, spot of paint. And then I think next we'll do the warm gray. So I'm just gonna continue to layer my paint up until I have all my colors down. Okay, so I've got my paint layered down. Kind of feel like the Prussian blue is not as white as the other ones. So we'll just add another little bit to that. And then here's my string. So I'm gonna lay my string down and I'm gonna kind of weave it through the paint. So I think I probably should have gotten this wet first because it's really stiff, but we'll see if we can make it work. So as I said, I don't want gaps of color. I don't want any of the string to not have color on it. I think I'm gonna stop kind of like right there. So the reason that I have this plastic here is I thought this would work really well to lay it over the top of the string to make sure that my string is saturated and then that way I'm not getting my fingers all goofy. So I kind of want to make sure that both sides of the string are covered with paint. So I'm just going to kind of push it up over that plastic to make sure that I've got color everywhere. And I apologize because I'm sure that you probably can't see this very well, but. So just kind of gushing the paint into the string to make sure that it's coated really well. I don't want any gaps on my paint. I want it to all be pretty. Okay, I think I've got it pretty good now. All right, so I'm just going to pull this off. 
I'm going to try to lay it over here on the side. Kind of lay it on itself a little bit just so it doesn't go off the edge of my table. Okay, so this is the top of my string. So I'm thinking the feather should go kind of this way across the canvas. So I'm going to pick up this end of it. I'm going to kind of straighten it out just a little bit. And then I want to carefully lay it down on the surface like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let me turn the camera again so that you can see what I've done. <clears throat> okay, so you can see I've got it laying diagonal across the canvas. So I'm going to go to the other side. And then I'm going to start pulling this up. So I kind of want to pull it towards me. And I kind of want to gently lift it as I go. And I kind of want it to, I need it to kind of pull upon itself and we'll see if I can get it going in the right direction. I think the cord is too stiff. So let's cut another length and I'm gonna wet it down with some water. And then I'll come back and show you, I think I'm just gonna re-pull right over what I've done, but I'm gonna cut another length and get it wet first. Cause I think it's just too thick and it's just not cooperating, it's not soft enough. All right guys, I have um, cut another piece of rope. See this little nylon center that's in this thing? Let me pull it out a little bit further. So it's wet. I'm gonna pull this out. I think that this will be a lot more flexible if this piece is not in there. So I'm gonna pull that out. The rope is now wet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply it into my paint over here. And we'll try this again. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up both ends of my rope. Oh, I can already tell this is much better. And then I'm just gonna try to carefully lay it back down where it was, matching up my colors again, just like that. All right, let's give this another go, shall we? All right, so I'm going to pull and kind of wrap it back up here onto itself. Oh, that's so much better. And I want to pull it out so that I get a much bigger feather. I stuck my finger in up here, but that's all right. I can go back and fix that. Okay, so we've learned a lesson today. We definitely need to pull the center out of the rope in order for this little guy to work very well. All right, now I'm gonna kind of try to tighten up my loop a little bit. I'm not worried about those little oopsies there. I can fix that. Right, and then I'm just gonna pull this right up and over this end of it, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay my rope back into my color again. I'm trying to line it up again with the color because I need to lay it back down again. And match those colors up again. Yeah, 
is not too bad, actually. All right. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on this side, but I'm going to do it on the opposite side. So you, I'm probably going to be in your way right now. So if I am, I'll just go ahead and cut this out. But just doing the same thing over here. Just going to start pulling it out and creating the other half of our feather. You can see I've got paint puddled up there. So I'm just gonna try to slowly pull that over the edge of it. I'm gonna hold this just to make sure that it doesn't move on me too much. And just finish that off. Okay, and then I think I want to, I need to pull that back off of there. So I'm gonna kind of dip this into the turquoise. And I'm just gonna lay this right here and then see if I can't pull that paint off the top of it. Because I don't want all that white pulled up there. I want it pulled off just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and touch up a little bit of this here. And then um, I will pop back on and show you how it looks. So hold tight. Okay, so I've gone back, cleaned up the canvas, and I did um, pull one more time through the feather and I made it just a little bit bigger, kind of cleaned up this end down here. And then I think the last thing that it needs is a quill. So I have put a little puddle of raw umber over here on the corner. I've dipped my string back into it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of gently lay it down. And then the goal is to pull that through, through the feather that I already have there and take it out on the other end. So hopefully, She'll just follow right along. I'm just gonna kinda lay it right down here so I can get to the other side. And just pull that on down off of the canvas, right through the center of the feather that I created. I'm kind of lifting it up so that it's not laying across the canvas down here on the end. And then I'll gently pull that off of the edge as I get down further to the end. I'm just kind of picking up my string so that it's not laying on the canvas. And there we go. Okay guys, so that is the completed string pull for the giant feather. I really love the colors. I think as it um, dries, we'll get a few more little cells that'll pop up. I will torch this too, just to um, make sure that I've got all my air bubbles out. But um, I really like the big feather. So it was a little bit tricky to do. And as I said, I did go back a third time and pull it again. So don't be afraid to like go back and do it one more time. I would say that the hardest part of this technique is as the paint puddles up inside your string, just trying to get that off of the end of the canvas so that you don't have a big mess on the, on the uh, top of it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.